Okay, I want to try this uh, blowing technique again. But this time I want to take these two leftover bottles. You may recognize them. They're the carbon tests where the carbon burnt away. So I have a kind of a smooth white and then kind of a rough, really thin celadon on this one. But I want to start with this. I have a pre-mixed bucket of floating blue here on the floor. I'm going to take a dunk and then I'm going to see if I can blow it around on this fully fired piece. All right, real quick. Ooh, it's working. Kind of. It's nice it's not drying. Hmm. Well, it's a cool pattern. I'm curious to know what it's going to really look like. But I'm going to let this dry. I'll sponge the foot off. And then I want to try a different color, maybe something thicker, on this second bottle. Okay, bottle number two. I have some sea foam, which will go on nice and thick, mixed up right here. Let me get this dipped and we'll see what happens. Boy, it's runny. That's a, normally a really thick glaze, but obviously on a fired body, it just is not like it, does it? But it's working. I'm hoping I'll get is some sort of a fish scale spider web kind of random pattern. All right, well, I think I'm going to leave it right there. It's certainly random. I'm kind of excited to see how that looks. My only concern is it's not very thick, uh, but there's not really a lot I can do about that. So that'll go in the kiln tonight along with the floating blue and we'll see how these fire. So I went looking through some failed or second pottery. This was a little bud vase I made a long time ago that was a, like a really light lavender attempt and it just washed out. Uh, the little shape didn't offend me. Uh, I think it's cute. It just... 2018. It's an old one. But, this is a good candidate to see if I can blow some glaze around. But this time I want to try a double coat. So I'm going to dip it in a metallic matte black. And I'm going to see, can I let it kind of dry or just dry a tiny bit. And then I want to dip it in a layer of sea foam. And I will decant some sea foam out of the bucket. Because just in case, I don't want that black to shed off into my glaze bucket. But I want to get two coats. And as soon as I dunk it in the sea foam... I want to see if we can do the kind of blowing technique and expose rings of sea foam and black. So that's the idea. Let me mix up the glazes and we'll get to blowing them around. Oh, one of the screwy things about having a foot like this is it's really hard to hold, especially now that it's glazed. There we go. Red, okay, here we go. Okay. Now let's blow some air on it and see what happens. Oh yeah, two colors may be the ticket. Curious to see how this... Ooh, I wish they were a tiny bit smaller. You know what? I'm going to leave it right there. I think that is going to be interesting. I really like how it's staying separate in the drips. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Well, out of the kiln, I think these look pretty good. I didn't know what to expect. This white glaze really did suck in a lot more than I expected. I don't really like how I smudged it off. It's so easy to do that with a sponge on these fully fired pieces, but I do like that. That really shows promise. I 
And this one, I really like where it ran off. I wish you could see it better because it kind of finally breaks to that sea foamy turquoise. But all in, I think that's a really fun technique. But the most exciting one is the double color one. Look at that. I didn't expect it to look so good, honestly. I love, I love seeing these ripples. It really, to me, looks like a tortoise shell. You have these kind of concentric rings. All of the sea foam kind of blue to the edges, exposing the blue. The kind of blue of the that black glaze breaks blue when it gets thin. But that is really good looking to me. Super, and I really like where it dripped. I like how the glaze is kind of kept separate. You know, kind of a two tony thing. But that is obviously the trick. The best way so far is to blow it on a fully fired piece. So I'm going to make a bunch more. I think I'm going to do some tiles for like a like a wall tile installation and a variety of bottles and then I'm going to do some and we're going to glaze them white and then blow on top like this and we'll do some where we leave them raw and see how that works. But yeah, this gives me hope that we're on the right track. I have so many more things I want to test. But there you are. Let me know what you think. Think the technique is worth it. And by the way, I don't even think you need an air compressor. I think you could do this with a straw. I just feel like I'd end up passing out or something. But So, there you go. Fun.